And so this lesson and the next lesson, we're going to spend doing um, this part of the work. And then we will move on to the midpoint theorem and do a big chunk of revision for your paper two when we do midpoint theorem. Okay. So how do we prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram? Okay. So these are the five ways that you need to know. This, this you might, like those... Um, properties that I gave you, that big diagram that you took lovely screenshots of, that basically comes from, this comes from that, okay. So we're basically saying, how will we know if a shape is a parallelogram? We, we will know that it is a parallelogram if we can prove that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, both pairs of opposite sides are equal, both pairs of opposite angles are equal, the diagonals bisect, and one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. Okay, so those are the only ways that we can prove that a parallelogram, a shape is a parallelogram. And to prove these properties, we are going to use other geometry. Okay, so we must first work out and first find both pairs of opposite sides or parallel etc before we can say that a shape is a parallelogram for instance <clears throat> okay so how does this work i'm going to do this first one and then we can see so in this trapezium a b c d a d is parallel to b c okay so that's given with one color highlighter Highlight the things that are given. Yes, Sipo, you have a question already. Let's hear. Oh, the Sipo's gone. Okay, so I'm going to highlight in one color the things that are given. Um, and as I said before, I'm sure I've said this. Yeah, it's a trapezium. Read everything that's written because sometimes stuff's written down but it's not shown on the sketch so make sure everything that's written in words are also shown on your sketch for instance it says a angle a is equal to angle angle d and that's 70 okay so that's also given these two angles are 70 degrees and ec is equal to dc EC equal to DC. Okay. So, and that, and ABCD is a trapezium. Okay. So, now we have to prove that ABCE is a parallelogram, ABC. And for that, you can use another highlighter. Highlight the shape that you need to prove in another color. So I'm going to make it this yellow color. Now we have to prove that ABCE is a parallelogram. So with geometry, just take some time first and devise a strategy. So from the five ways that we can prove a parallelogram is a parallelogram of these five ways over here. Let's go through them and see which one we might actually choose to prove. So I'm going to already eliminate anything to do with diagonals because the diagonals are not drawn in. So we are not going to you prove anything to do with diagonals. Okay, Yenzi said op opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel. Okay, so can we prove that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel? So this one here basically. Well, let's see. Maybe that is an option. Maybe that is an option. Both pairs opposite sides are equal. 
I think this one is going to be hard because we don't have any sides equal. Um, we don't know that AE is equal to BC. We don't, we only know that EC is equal to DC and they've got nothing to do with our parallelogram really. So I would say this one is also going to be difficult. Both pairs of opposite angles are equal. Mm, also, maybe, maybe we can do that one. And then one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, maybe. So what we can do now is just go on that fact-finding mission that I mentioned to you last time. So we can say that E2 is 70. That we know because of angles opposite equal sides. Then I can go, okay, so if that's 70, because of angles on a straight line, this is 110. Hmm. Okay. Now I can also, I can even go as far as filling in C2 because C2 I can get from the 70 and the 70 and C2 must add up to 180. So we can say that that's going to be 40. Okay. Now, can we find C1 and angle B? Can anyone think what C1 is going to be equal to? Put it in the chat. What will angle C1 be equal to and give a reason? Amakhle says use co So what is C1 equal to? 70, that's right, because of co and then angle B, what is angle B equal to? Angle B is also 110 because of co Right, so can we say, now that we've filled all of this in, can we say that AB, do we have enough that we can say ABCE is a parallelogram? Bukhle, you have your hand up. Everyone else, you can respond in the chat. Yes, Bukhle? Yes. Um, Ma'am, I wanted to ask um, for C1, if you say the... The, the the angle there is equals to 70 degrees. Is it okay if you could state the reason that it's alternative um, angles because of E2? No, we can't use, oh, uh, because of E2. Oh yes, that's fine too. Yes, perfect. No, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, guys, do we have enough yet to prove that ABCE is a parallelogram? Look at the five different ways, look at what we have and come to a conclusion. Is ABCE a parallelogram? Yes, Unati says yes, because opposite angles are equal. And many of you say yes, but you are not giving reasons. And if you don't give reasons, your answer is invalid. And opposite sides are parallel to each other. Um, do we know that opposite sides are parallel to each other? Yes, because this is 110 and that's 70. Yeah, that can work as well. So let's write, this is now going to be, this is your challenge to write the whole proof down with reasons. Okay, so uh, is ABCE a parallelogram? Yes, because the opposite angles are equal. But this is just our thinking. We now have to actually write the proof down. So let's start where we started. We said E2, angle E2 was equal to 70 degrees. And that was because of angles opposite equal sides. Then we said E1 
was equal to 110. And that was because of angles on a straight line. Then we said C1 was equal to 70 degrees. And that was because of co-interior angles, because AE is parallel to BC. Uh, Sabunga Musa, you can, you can state, um, you can state that. No, that's fine. You can add a line here that says D, uh, angle D, oh, it's not D1, it's just D. Angle D is equal to 70 because it's given. Okay, so then C1 is 70 because of co-interior and angle B is 110 because of co-interior angles, um, AE parallel to BC. Therefore, so now you're gonna say that therefore C1 is equal to angle A and angle B is equal to angle E1. Therefore, a, B, C, E is a parallelogram or a palm. Reason, both pairs of opposite angles equal. And then you can say, you can also say alternatively C1 is 70 because of alternate angles. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so one more minute for questions about this one before we go on to the next one. No questions, right. Now it's gonna be your turn. And you're going to go through that same thinking process or use your own thinking if you do it a different way, as long as whatever you do has reasons involved, valid geometry reasons. So first, read everything, fill it in on your sketch, and then go on to your proof. If you want to take a screenshot, um, here's our five ways of proving a parallelogram. You can take a quick screenshot of that. Okay, and let's do this one. Okay, so I'm going to let you work on your own for about three minutes. So we'll check back at about 18.26.
if you are done and you're ready, just pop in the chat what property you proved to show that this is a parallelogram, which one of the five. If you are done. Okay, so if you are still busy, you can carry on. Um, I am going to start the first bit of the problem by just filling in um, the information that's written down and just showing that on the sketch. Yeah, so guys, if you are done, put in the chat which property you proved to show that these, that this is a parallelogram. Which of the five properties did you choose, did you, did you choose or did you manage to prove? Okay, so for me, everything that is purple is given. Maybe I should change that to black. Okay, I'm going to change that to black. That's just easier. So this angle here is 30, that's given. And this one here is 75. Come, is there anyone who's proven it? It is actually a fairly straightforward question. It's not that bad. Opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Okay, if we are trying to prove that something is a parallelogram, we cannot use the properties of parallelogram to prove that it's a parallelogram. Okay, it's a bit of a feedback loop that doesn't work. <laughs> so if you're trying to prove that something's a parallelogram, you first have to prove that it's a parallelogram. Yes, Unati. Unati, you can unmute. Um. Uh, um, ma'am, I think I did prove it. Okay, tell us what you did. Oh, I said that angle C is equal to 75 degrees and the reason is given. And yeah. angle A is and angle A is equal to 75 degrees too. The reason is co-interior angles are equal. And then I said that angle D2 is equal to 30 degrees, which is given. But now for B1, ma'am, the thing is, uh, I said that it's equal to 30 degrees too, but now the reason for it is what I forgot, ma'am, because of the Z shape. Okay, now Unati, just be careful. We don't know that the lines are parallel. It's not given. We are trying to prove that this is a parallelogram. Only once we've proven it's a parallelogram will the sides be parallel. The only thing we've got here is that ABD and BCD are isosceles triangles. So that's what we've got to work with. We don't have any parallel um, sides as it stands at the moment. So we used to have to use other geometry. I see Niasha Vuchilo. I think a few of you said um, we can use alternate angles and the parallel sides, but we can't, guys. This we don't know. It's not given that the sides are parallel. Okay, so be careful that you understand the reasoning. Did anyone else try something different? Gabriel says congruency. And then, Gabriel, if you do congruency, what does that do for you?
Did anyone else? Okay, so Sipo, listen carefully again. B1 and D2 cannot be equal because of alternate angles. The lines are not parallel. We are not told that the lines are parallel. The only thing that we are told are that BD um, and BC are equal. Remember on Thursday, and I think even last Tuesday, I said to you guys, we can only work with what's there. We cannot make things up. We cannot invent stuff that's not given. Okay, if we do that, then we are making a very serious sort of reasoning mistake. So if it's not given that the lines are parallel, we cannot assume. So Lutando asks, ma'am, can B1 and D1 be equal? B1 and D1. Uh, I don't think so, Lutando, unless you have a reason. I don't think so. D1 is equals to C because of isosceles triangle. Buchle, you are onto something, except it's not isosceles triangle. You have to say angles, opposite, equal sides. Okay, so that is 75. And then Zimom Kela says, ma'am, can we use the, I'm not sure what. <laughs> yes. So you can uh, no Yenzi, it won't be angle angle side, it will be side angle side. Yeah. So other ideas, D1 is 75. It's not base angles of isosceles triangle, it's angles opposite equal sides. Learn that rhyme. Angles opposite equal sides. Now Vuchino says angle A and B2 are equal. That is correct. Also, angles opposite equal sides. And what will they, their values be if B2 is equal to A? B2 and D2 are not equal, no. But B2 and angle A are equal. And Gabriel says that these are 75 as well. I agree with that. Okay, so now what have we got? What will this little angle here be, B1? What will that be equal to? Pop it in the chat if you know. Kajiso, you have your hand up. Kajiso, um, yes. Um, Ma'am, can we say that um, B is going to be equal to 30 because of sum of interior of a triangle? Yes. Angle sum of triangle, that's right. Okay. Right. And now, guys, we've done all the work. What can we say now? Is this a parallelogram and for what reason? There's more than one reason here, by the way, but the most obvious one. Pop it in the chat. Yes, Lutando. Lutando. Ma'am, can you say because angle C and yeah. uh, also angle A are equal, therefore opposite angles are equal, therefore is it equal to a parallelogram? Yes, therefore it's a parallelogram. Okay, good stuff. Now we have to write this down. And let's start with angle D. Let's start with angle C is equal to 75. That was given. Then we had to say that D1 was equal to 75. Um, that's because of angles opposite equal sides. Then we say B1 is equal to 30 angle sum of triangle. Okay, so do you see so far? Nowhere we've used parallel lines because we don't know yet that the parallel lines are equal. We have to prove it. Unless you've proven it, you cannot assume it. Okay, so now we can also say A is equal to B2 is equal to 75. And the reason there is angles opposite equal sides 
and angle sum of triangle. And then we say, therefore, angle A is equal to angle C and angle ABC is equal to CDA. No reason given, it's obvious. And therefore, ABCD is a palm. Um, because of the opposite, angles are equal. Okay, by the way, you could have also um, done the opposite sides are parallel because D2 and B1 are equal and they are alternate. Therefore, the side is parallel to that one. And then you actually, that would have been the quickest way actually, because then you have this condition, this last one, one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. You could have done it that way. You could have done both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Uh, D1 is equal to 75 because of angles opposite equal sides. Because ABD um, and BCD are isosceles. Okay. Right. Last one. I think the last one we're going to have time for this evening. Um, I'm going to let you look at it for a few minutes and try it. And we'll check in in about three minutes. If you have a question, raise your hand or pop it in the chat, or DM Miss Lebo or myself. Start the process first of filling in everything that's written. And then devise a strategy, a game plan Use the information that you have to prove this parallelogram. And don't assume anything. Only work with what is given. If there are no parallel lines given, don't assume that they are there. Okay, again, I'm going to just start filling in what is given.
Yes, Bongo Kuchle. Hi, ma'am. Hi there. Um, ma'am, I'm a bit confused for P1 um, because here it says equals to what I can see here is 68, and the 8 is in black. But then when you drew it, um, you said 62 on the parallelogram. So yes, I think P1 has to be 62. So it's not the 68? No. Where do you see the 68? Ma'am, on, on my screen, it shows. Oh, is it? Oh, I see. 68. Um, let me just see here. 60. Um, no, I think it is 62. Just hold on, let me just check something. Actually, you're right, it should be 68. Let's make that 68. Shouldn't make too much of a difference, I don't think. Yeah, 68. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay, right, guys, just because we are a bit pressed for time, uh, I'm going to start with the question. So we've got uh, 56. I'm going to start in this triangle here with, um, yeah, let's start here with E1 is 62. So I'm going to just write in some of the things that I find by using geometry. So M1 will be 62 because of angles opposite equal sides. And then we can go to the other triangle and this will be 56 because of the same reason, angles opposite equal sides. And then if we do interior angles in a triangle, we can go 180 minus 56 minus 56, that gives me this angle here, 62 is also 68. Okay, and you can carry on, you can fill in almost all the angles using other geometry. So angles on a straight line here will give you 180 minus 62. So E2 is 118. And um what else can we do we can do f1 angles on the straight line so 180 minus 68 will give me 112 that's just from angles on the straight line and i think that's probably enough for now um okay so after you've done that sort of fact finding mission and just filled in some angles and um, try and, you know, find as many things as possible using your sketch. Then you can go to your questions and see LP parallel to ME. So Sasipo is asking Mama, ask how can M1 be equal to 62? That's because of angles opposite equal sides. So if E1 is 62, then M1 is 62 because LM is equal to LE. It is given here, so I hope that you filled out all of this from your sketch. Okay, so LM, uh, LP parallel to MN. So to prove parallel lines, we need to find a pair of corresponding angles that are equal or a pair of alternate angles that are equal. So in this case, we can actually just do alternate angles because P1 and F2. But it's important that you guys understand we first, we, we got the value of those angles using other geometry. Um, and because they are in the alternate position, that means the lines must be parallel if the alternate angles are equal. So we can't say P1 is equal to F2 because of alternate angles, because we need to prove first that the lines are parallel. Okay, so let's write the answer for that first. So we're gonna say that angle P2 is equal to 56, that's given. Uh, 
<laughs> it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so therefore angle N is equal to 56. And that's because of angles opposite equal sides. Do not write isosceles triangle. That is not um, a valid reason. Angles opposite equal sides is the right reason. And then if two is equal to 68, and why do we say that? Because of angle sum of a triangle. And then we can say therefore P1 is equal to F2. That's just obvious. You don't need to give a reason for that. But you can then say, and they are alternate. Therefore, LP is parallel to MN, and your reason is alternate angles equal. Okay, so 